beaches of Suse. It's nice. No, it's nice for you. You're, you're nice. I've actually bought the Suse, the local team's shirt, and not the Tunisian top. It looks exactly the same. Shake it! Woo! We are now fully fledged Tunisian locals. Good morning from the beaches of Suse. From Hammamet, we took the one hour luage, which is sort of like the local Tunisian bus to this beach city. I suppose you can kind of describe Suse as a modern resort town mixed with the old history in the Medina. We actually decided to stay right on the beachfront, actually at the far end of the resort town. So I think we're actually walking distance to the Medina. And this is our back garden. Golden sands, beautiful blue sea, very surprised at the watercolour actually and I think I'm slightly overdressed. Um, it's the 1st of December and it's 21 degrees, it's very warm. We're actually staying, I don't know if you can see this huge resort here, um, Hotel Riyadh Palms and it is actually only starting from £30 per night which is absolutely incredible value and I still can't believe, as I said, that it's 1st of December right now. We're definitely going to come down to the beach tomorrow morning because I've just seen a guy swimming. So that means it is warm enough to swim on the 1st of December. It is a huge stretch of beach. It actually goes along for a few miles, but I'd definitely choose to stay up this end as you can walk straight into the main town. Yes, to the river. Shukran. Shukran. Shukran, Shukran. thank you. You're welcome. Just because you can walk didn't mean we were going to. We ended up jumping in a bolt and only for four dinar we were taken from the beach resorts to the outskirts of the old Medina of Suse, which actually dates back to the eighth century. And straight away, you can see the contrast from real life to tourism. <laughs> As soon as you walk in and you walk past the small bit of craziness, you do come to the Grand Mosque um, and they supposedly say that this resembles an old Islamic city back thousands of years ago um, and it's quite, it's quite a grand mosque. <laughs> The mosque actually also dates back to the 8th century and the Medina itself is a little bit different to Tunis. Parts of it are very touristy being that you're so close to a beach resort but it also has these really cool little local streets and has that white and blue just like Sidi Bou Said. Turn down one road and you're on those tiny, quiet, little local streets. You turn down another and it is the main streets of the Medina with absolutely everything that you want. I mean, there's a hardware shop and then you have souvenir shops and you have shops with the Adidas. Adidas. <laughs> Adidas. Um, and then you have everything else that you could want. Street food. I don't know. I mean, I don't know where to start. Do you have any bigger sizes? What do you all? Yeah, my size. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. This is, I think I'm bigger <laughs> than small. So it is the World Cup as of filming and I feel like I need a Tunisia top to wear even though they've been knocked out already, but I, I need one. Try it. I like it. How much are they first? First try it. This is perfect. What do you think, Molly? It looks nice. Do I look Tunisian now? Perfect. 100%. <laughs> That's good. It looks nice. It fits nice. No, it's nice for you. You're, you're nice. You're nice. Serious. So ask, how much? How ask much? the wife, she will tell you. Yeah, yeah, I said, I think it looks nice. How much? Uh, English money or Tunisian? Tunisian. We sell that in Tunisian money, it's like 165. 165. Like 30 very much. I Aishuk, should. thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> thank you. I now support Tunisia. Aishuk. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Okay. We got there in the end. He started at 165 dinar, which is like almost 40 English pounds and in the end we got it for 40 which is around 10 English pounds I'm pleased with that it's uh it's stitched in it's good material and I think I fit in with the World Cup fever right now I was walking along the Medina and I realized that all the locals from Seuss were like incredibly nice almost too nice too complimentary about my top and I realized going online that I've actually bought the Suse, the local team's shirt and not the Tunisian top. It looks exactly the same, same color, just, just a different badge. But I, feel, I don't know, I feel like this is more unique. 
and everyone loves me now. Wow! Now Matt's wow. t-shirt's getting everyone in. This flag is big! big wow! Flag. It's amazing! Hey, sorry. I should. Check, Molly, you take, take it. it! Okay! Check it! Check it. Check it. Check it. Yes! Ah! Oh. Also Algeria! Wow. Ah! That's very nice! It's good to be in this! It's very nice! I should! I Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone in Seuss is so friendly. Yes. Yeah, so very, friendly. Yes, yeah, it's a very, very friendly. Tunisian yeah. is a very nice. So friendly. I think my, my, wow, my shirt helps. Maybe, yeah. Everyone and sees the top Tunisian, and they think I'm local. Wow, Tunisian with the Francis is 1 0. Yeah. So yeah. very, very happy. But it was a good game. Oh, 1 maybe, 0, yeah. Maybe, maybe another time it's 2 0. Yeah, one, you never one, know. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Welcome in Tunisia. I should. Thank, Thank you. you. Everyone is obsessed with Matt's shirt, but this lovely guy has told me that I need to have a. Tunisia. You're just shirt. jealous of all my attention. I am really jealous. And now I have the black one. We have the white. The black's nice though, right? Yeah. For me? Yeah, it's for you. It is, I give her the original one. It's really To Tunisian. Nice. We give her the heart. <laughs> I shook. We play strong with the French. <laughs> no problem. We are now fully fledged Tunisian locals. Look at us in our matching t shirt You were just jealous. I was getting so much attention in my one that Molly was like, I need one as well. <laughs> Saha, we have finally found somewhere to eat in the maze that is the Medina and we are right next to the old Medina walls. We've actually come into restaurant to people and we are starting with a boga or bogo which is basically the Tunisian <laughs> Sprite but it was really fun here. Basically they have their menu on the board behind me but everything is in French so through some Google Translate and being shown what dishes they have I think we have like a three course meal to share. The first two courses have come. We have a soup and we have brick, which if you've seen our other videos, it's basically like a phyllo pastry stuffed with like potato and eggs. We have something very spicy here, but I'm gonna go in with the soup, which looks great. And the ladies make it right there. Oh, it's good. I think it's like a, a ricey soup. Perfect for a little, for a little midday snack. This looks so good. So this is the main course. This is basically bulgur wheat with grilled vegetables, or I think it is anyway. We got there in the end with <laughs> the translation. It looks amazing. It, it looks, looks it almost looks a little bit like a like a couscous. How they do the couscous, very similar. And you can see all of them grains, it's gonna be filling. Oh wow! This, this, oh wow! This is, this is the traditional Tunisian food. Yeah. It's couscous. With oh amazing! Wow, thank Even you more? so much. That's yeah. really kind. Thank, thank you very much. This is amazing, by the way. <laughs> it's so good. It's a little bit spicy. It must be the football shirt. I must look so good in it because they did just bring us out a couscous that they made, um, and it's got lots of vegetables in it. And he said, "Be careful because this is hot." It actually looks different. It does look different. I think it's just a different type of vegetables in it. But here we go. Let's try. I have a new favourite. I think I prefer the bulgur wheat uh, to the couscous. You haven't tried that. That. Is very good. There's a there's a specific flavour that I can't think what it is, but it's very nice. It's like chickpeas, potatoes, a little bit spicy. I'm gonna avoid that chili at all costs. You can't end a Tunisian meal without mint tea. Look how cute these cups are. Oh my god, I nearly swallowed the whole mint and uh some fresh pomegranate. If you come to Suse, you need to check out Restaurant Du the People. They were so nice in there. We got our three courses and our two drinks, which came to 41 dinars, so about 10 English pounds. But then they brought out tea for us to try. They brought us the couscous. The hospitality is so good. It's a combination of wearing our Tunisia and Seuss tops and the people just being so, so nice. We were then actually shown next door how they make the traditional carpets by a Berber lady. And we're now heading towards the highlight of Seuss, which is the Ribat. Hi, Shu. Our tickets to get in to the Ribat were eight dinner each which is two pound per person and we have the whole thing to only ourselves in Tunisia. only in Tunisia so essentially what the Rabat is is it's like half a place for worship half a place where people uh, live like communities and then also it was used as a defense um, thousands of years ago and I can't believe how well preserved it is in here like everything's still intact it's been maintained so well and all the way around it are these little viewpoints looking over the city but this one has to have the best view, <laughs> we need to go up here. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze 
especially after all the couscous we keep getting given. We've made it and wow, you do get some great views of the Medina from up here. I don't know why more people don't leave the comfort of the beach and head up to the Rabat. Of course, like everything, this dates back to around the 8th century and was built by the Aglabad dynasty, which were basically like religious warriors. They were the first line of defense for the city of Sousse if anyone came to attack. And um, wow. It's definitely worth coming up here. You can see everything. You can see the beach. You can see all of the Medina. You can see the cargo ships in the distance. And we're the only ones up here. It makes no sense. Good morning. It is actually the next day. And after leaving the Rabat yesterday, we headed to Port El Katuni, I think I'm pronouncing that right, which is sort of like the high-end resort area, and we um, we sort of cheated on Tunisian food. We had a hard rock. We ordered way too much food. If any country, anywhere in the world, if there is a hard rock, for some reason, um, we go there, but it is a beautiful day this morning, and the views from our balcony here are just, they're just incredible. Have a look at that. I can't believe that you can get something like this for as little as £30 a night and only 10 minutes away from the chaos of the Medina. I do like the chaos of the Medina though. Um, yeah, there's something like the about business. it. And I still have my suit top on. <laughs> Matt's still mm -hmm. wearing his suit top. But I'll give you a room tour. Obviously, you have seen our balcony and our view. When you come in, there's dried roses everywhere because we had roses. We have our bed. We have a single bed. I'm going to be putting Matt in there if he annoys me. We have fridge, TV, and a bath and shower. Um, we are all inclusive, so I think we should probably get a buffet breakfast. And then I have seen some people down at the beach in the sea, so... We're we gonna brave it? Either me or Matt, or both of us will have to brave the sea. The time has come. The time has come for one of us to swim in the sea. We've been putting it off for a long time now in Tunisia and at breakfast Molly was good enough to volunteer to, to go swimming in the sea. It's actually a really nice buffet breakfast. I still can't get over the fact that you can stay in a resort like this for around 30 pounds, 35 euros a night. You've got a huge pool, a private beach and you're five minutes from town. To be honest Molly you did sort of volunteer while eating your eggs this morning. No, I got the short straw um one consolation is that the sand is very powdery but i am trying the sea i'm trying it it's actually in very your warm. tunisia shirt <gasps> oh no it's not that bad <laughs> he's telling me to go further in <laughs> i'm gonna get wet i'm running <laughs> oh no it is a little bit too chilly for me you need to, to swim, swim in there. She, she needs to swim right yeah. you no. need to swim it's cold Zeus, the perfect blend of a beach and a city. I'm definitely not going in the sea. Um, there's a bit more to explore, so we'll see you in the next one. 